you're looking at the maintenance work for at Ram Aircraft in Waco, Texas. Ram is one of the leading engine overhaul shops, and like every other shop, they see a lot of engines coming in with serious corrosion. We talked to Ram Stephen Bogus about what owners can do about this. We actually at Ram evaluate every returning core. Um, the parts and pieces uh, that come back are evaluated for uh, serviceability and um, whether they meet industry standards. And, and upon returning, what we find with certain of these parts is that those that have had corrosion um, and, and other issues because of the environment they're in and or lack of use uh, actually begin to disintegrate beyond serviceable limits. Uh, camshaft, lifters, uh, cylinder barrels, uh, the rings in which run in those cylinder barrels, uh, it actually can get so bad as to begin to delaminate the gear teeth that operate internally in that engine. As far as, um, you know, one of the vital parts of the engine, the camshaft and lifters, because they are both very hardened materials and a steel part runs against a steel part in this case, uh, when the corrosion process begins, it, it is just uh, accelerated progressively as they continue to run against each other uh, during operation. So once the corrosion process begins, it, it eventually will end up in a catastrophic failure that results in uh, parts having to be replaced uh, to maintain a serviceability. Initially, what we find on, on, on these parts is that it is the lifters that begin to spall first. Um, they begin with minor pitting uh, that then allows uh, in that minor pitting continued corrosion and, and rust particles to form. Um, every time that they begin the operation of that part, it wipes that surface off. And um, a as the parts continue to be operated over a period of time, it progressively gets worse to the point of actually removing particles of metal that get up underneath the oil pressure seat or in the filter pleats and uh, require uh, a, a metal contamination inspection. Typically when we see corrosion on cylinders, it ends up resulting in low compression uh, as first reported by the consumer. Um, and then upon checking, we realize that this low compression is because of limits that are uh, no longer uh, held between the rings and the piston and the barrel because of this rust and corrosion that has created uh, crevices along the cylinder wall. Uh, that type of corrosion, again, begins to eat at the contact parts uh, in the very top of the cylinder where the combustion process takes place, and it is wiped with each rotation of the engine during operation down through the cylinder barrel and then uh, is transported in the oil system where it begins to circulate throughout the engine and redeposit itself on other steel parts. If an airplane is not operated at once every seven days, that corrosion process that exists in the engine begins to accelerate from it just sitting because all engines are open to the environmental conditions in which they sit. We, we recommend exactly what the manufacturers do, which is uh, a minimum of one hour at operating temperatures per week. Um, one of the worst things you can do is pull your airplane out of your hangar and start it up and operate it for 10 or 15 minutes on the ground and then push it right back in the hangar. You really need to get it up to operating temperature and maintain that for an hour to remove all of the uh, water vapor and, and other foreign materials out of that engine that are created um, uh, with the combustion process happening. Uh, all of these topics are um, in the various publications maintenance-wise, but there also is a, a maintenance tip, and all of this information is available on uh, RAM's website at ramaircraft.com.